And soft to deep where the moves wrong free The capital for two whoopers, the planet of Southeast And this ain't no ocean city, we been here since the 70s And since I've been around this shit about protecting communities I wanted to be down the home to send me your shooting screens And where I'm from, you ain't did that, you ain't no blood Just like if you ain't rush those niggas, you ain't no judge He say, so whooping his raps, that don't mean shit you didn't do nothing when your homie got lit up by them crips And the main thing to show me that y'all ain't no blood Cause when you come to San Diego, y'all don't hit me up This is not rap shit, Mitchie's really been active Blood niggas from both country, make sure they get active Legendary in the cherry spur with spawning guts Yeah, I still got on dickies, I won't change Now I'm just a ballin' blood All right, sorry for the brief interruption, family. So, uh, as I was saying, you know, with the condition of uh, the black family today, as you see, about, you know, if not more than 70% of the black family is led by single parent households, primarily black women. Do you feel that this has contributed to, uh, towards the influence of gang banging? Well, like I said, I, I, gang banging is a violent culture that, 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 that's a real emotional ass. Uh, state to where like the littlest shit could ignite big things and a lot of that I feel comes from a woman's you know a, a, um, you know all her emotions that she carries you know what I'm saying when, when you when you grow up around a mama and all you see her doing is reacting a certain way to this or reacting a certain way to that you, you gonna naturally feel a certain way because your mother showed you that if that's all you got to learn from and a lot and a lot a lot of the homies be like you know, they, they got a lot of women in them, you know what I'm saying? Just about the way they feel about certain things, about how emotional they get. So it's a lot of stuff that takes place in, in the gangbang culture that I feel for sure has a lot to do with the fact that the mom is not there and that that, that, that igniting reaction to things. Instead of like a lot of time, men know the consequence of having these verbal altercations. So they'll do things to, you know, keep these things from blowing up. Where a woman, somebody get mad at her, if you notice, keep it 100. When you're in the car with a woman, don't you notice how a woman be on the horn? So, like, like somebody getting a woman's way, she mm -hmm. it, like, like dudes don't do that because we know means fight. We know that fight means shoot, maybe. Like, like it might. Damn, he just pulled out. It ain't that important. But women do this shit back and forth to each other. You notice how women are women friends, but they be so catty. They talk shit, cuss each other out. Men sometimes don't do that because the consequence of men doing that and getting into a fight means broken bones and teeth missing and women's you know they little catty shit but when you got a child growing up learning that emotional response to shit man you got men reacting like women that's why it be so much they don't fight no more fight go straight to shooting and shit like you know just blowing up like handle like a man don't handle like a woman handle like a man you know what i mean so yeah of course and then and then plus also, not having the guidance from the man being in the house is always going to be an issue. Because when you ain't got a, a man there to lace you on how to react to stuff like a man, then you're going to be freestyling that shit. A lot of homies never knew how to react to certain things. All they knew how to do was blow up if somebody says something. They're probably in the jail for the rest of their life today because of that, that emotional response to shit that they got from a woman. You know what I mean? So, yeah, for sure. Okay, cool. So, how do you feel about the latest fashion uh, trend in terms of men wearing skirts, skinny jeans, painting their fingernails, etc.? Do you believe that it contributes to the feminization of the black man? I do because the new culture is uh, the new the new generations is, are real are real um, they copycats. Like I said, the word biter don't really exist no more. You know, and 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 a lot of that stuff, shit. You know, they all things that that in certain situations a man could say they cool or think they cool but I know rocking a skirt it ain't gonna be cool someplace no matter what fashion it is you know what I'm saying you gonna go around say for instance you gonna go around the primary put it like this ain't no ain't no ain't no niggas walking around the hood rocking no skirts but the crazy shit is these rappers that get into their position and their lifestyle and they'll start doing stuff for fans and for money you know what I'm saying things that they wouldn't even normally do in their hood you know what I mean and then you'll have these young kids seeing them and following that you know what I mean and of course, man, after so long, man, every everything gonna get watered down. You know what I mean? After so many years, everything's gonna get watered down. A hundred years from now, ain't no telling what's gonna be going on. You know what I'm saying? It was a time when we never thought homosexuality would be as um, understood and as 
as, you know, just from the 60s maybe, you know what I'm saying? The 80s, shit. Even in the 80s, shit. I mean, you go to Atlanta, homie, it'll be dudes in the club with heels on, homie. Right, right. You know what I mean? It'll really be men in the club with high heel shoes on. You know what I mean? Right. It ain't like that in LA in, in Southern Cali yet, you know what I'm saying? But shit, come on, homie. It ain't long, shit, with the way shit's going. When, when, when you can win a, um, we, we, that's part of the other question, but most definitely, homie, you know. Yeah, we're gonna move on to the other question. <laughs> I, I mean, every man to himself, everybody needs to do what they wanna do, but I don't care who you are, with what fashion statement you're trying to make, if you happen to go to jail, and everybody can go to jail, DUIs and, you know, drugs and all the shit that, you know, people go to jail for, simple shit. Man, I don't give a fuck who they is. Any nigga that wears a skirt on the streets, when he go to jail, he don't want nobody to know he got that. He got a picture of him doing that. He don't want that. He don't. So when it comes, at the end of the day, a man got to be a man. And I, I just don't feel like crossing that line is necessary for fashion. Fashion. Even caring that much about fashion for a man is is is, is something else. But I know, you know, shout out to all the homies, you know, doing <laughs> that shit, getting their money or whatever. Do you, you know what I mean? Right, right. Okay, so uh, we almost done. Um, since we're talking about hip hop, do you believe that hip hop has a role in the liberation of black people? I believe that as powerful as music is and all the things that music is used for, I believe that certain part of hip hop most definitely, like when a, when a young black group of men need to be liberated, get, get some game on being liberated, yeah, they need to be able to go to hip hop at some point of it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not necessarily saying that, um, Every artist has an obligation to do that, but I most definitely know that everybody I speak to in my music, you know what I'm saying, that, that that's what it's about in my music. It's about all us being strong, being smart, being free, and being alive. So, you know, yeah, most definitely. But okay, you can okay. get it from whatever genre of music you're getting it from, but whatever genre you want to, most definitely. Most definitely. We, we need to use that. That's a tool that we have as black people. We have that tool. We should use it. Okay, brother. Well, I got one last final question. So... And this mainly pertains, uh, pertains to gangbanging since you come from that culture. So, you know, I'm a proponent of black unity right now. That's what I'm trying to push. And, you know, from a brother, I'm an 80s baby, you know, and I come from a generation of gangbanging. You know, I came up under the Crips, you know what I'm saying? And I know, I know. You cussed me a few times today. Uh, already. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's all love. All so, yeah, it's all love. Um, <laughs> but, you know, uh... I look at it like this, you know, because a lot of my ancestors that I look up to now, you know, I look up to like Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, uh, uh, Khalid Muhammad, Dr. Uh, 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 John Henry Clark and brothers like that, you know, and when I look at, look, then when I think of like Tookie Williams or uh, uh, King uh, Larry Hoover or even like Booker T. Rogers and people of that nature, you know, I don't really hold them to the, the, the same uh, esteem, you know what I'm saying? And I think like, you know, like we currently are following a trend, not necessarily a trend, but a precedent that was established in the 60s. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we're following that now. And, and uh, you know, gangbanging, again, I came up under this too, but, you know, we killing, we killing each other now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I'm wondering, like, uh, you know, if black people, if there's ever a time that we can start something in this generation for the next generation, since we're following the precedent that was set in the 60s, why can't we create one now and become innovators and visionaries and create one now for the next generation, but yet that doesn't have nothing to do with gang banging, but yet a black unity foundation, you know, a new, a new something new. And if there was ever a time and or opportunity arise where, you know, that could happen, would you participate? I most definitely would participate because that's the only way that we're going to get where we need to be. That's the only way that we're going to be able to compete as people in America. That's the only way we're going to be able to compete on the streets. That's the only way we're going to be able to compete even not in the streets, in jail. Like, the Mexicans don't do what we do in jail, homie. You could be whatever gang you want to be on the street. But when you go to the pen, it's all one movement. But that's the reason why they're so strong, you know what I mean? Right. Black folks, we get in jail, we get to breaking up. L.A., Dago, Bay, Crips, Bloods, Black Gorillas, uh -huh. Muslims. Like, like, God damn. Right. Like, you feel me? Right. And, that's, and, and a lot of that, I ain't going to put the blame on nobody, but you got to know there's been little things, little tricks by, the, by, by, by our, our enemies, homie, that have been placed 
in our communities to make us do that shit, you know what I mean? Right. And and, and, and even from way back, you know what I'm saying, even from, even when you said the 60s, even when we had the organizations, I mean, even when we had the Plan Panthers and the Us organization and all that, it was seeds planted way back then right. to make them go at each other exactly. and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So exactly. it's going to be real hard. Yeah, I most definitely, definitely will participate because that's the only way we're going to have that strength. Black that we power. need. It's the only way, homie. Yeah, it's the only yeah. way. And, and 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 I didn't have to look at all black people for me to understand this. I could take my hood, you know what I'm saying, just my hood. I've noticed the breaking up. I've noticed the changes. I've noticed the power that we had when we all was together under one. It's not like that now. And that's just, that's just evolution of black people. Not how it's supposed to be, but as the schedule, the way it's been, that's what we've done. We started off as all... In Africa. Now keep in mind, everybody act like we killing people now. We was all together. We've been killing people ever since we was in Africa though, killing each other because the tribes was killing one another in Africa. So it ain't nothing new. We are we are we are we are we are we are um a strong and 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 and, and um you know it's just the people that we are. We, we mean business. When when we want something our way, we we're willing to fight for it. We're dedicated people. But but most definitely, homie. I don't know if that ever would be possible because we so we so far fucked up now, homie. It's fucked up, and a lot of the homies don't even think of that as being in. That ain't even in sight. That ain't even a wanted goal to be on that level. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know who's gonna do it. I don't know how somebody's gonna do it. Tupac it needs was, to be a goal. Tupac, Tupac was a nigga that could have started a, right. a movement. Now, of course, he wasn't going to be able to get everybody to be on that, but Tupac was had a strong enough voice to where he could at least had a, a one movement like what mm -hmm. you're talking about. It mm -hmm. could have been 100,000, mm -hmm. 200,000, maybe not all 50 million niggas or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't know, bro, but yeah, it need to be that because yeah, that's the only okay. way, that's the only way, like say for instance, hood code. And every time you ask me something, not that this is just what I'm on, but mm -hmm. the, Cause I'm on a whole bunch of shit. I mean, you know, I've been to a university, all the shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, but, but I know that my peoples need somebody to talk about this shit. Cause a lot of niggas like me ain't on this. Right. So I speak about my peoples when I when I speak about these topics. Mm -hmm. And I speak about the homies. Mm -hmm. I speak about the niggas that's in the gangs and right. going right. through that type of shit. So most definitely, I feel that because we ain't never gonna get ahead. We don't never once once we once, we gotta set up some type of organization. We gotta set up something that protects um our families and our kids. We gotta set up something that protects us after we too old to hang out in the streets and do whatever, you know what I'm saying? We don't have that. But if you look at every other organization, whether it be the police, whether it be the the um mafia, whatever it is, once they OG homies this accomplished and did all kind of shit get older, man, they got shit for them, man. They can sit down and chill and we don't got nothing, bro. We don't have nothing that has anything to do with building us economically as far as our street thing goes. There ain't any, niggas don't even look past being 30 years old. Man, that's a shame too. Like, they think they think they're gonna sell dope and get enough money to sell dope and stack it up to live the rest of their life off of that. Well, let me ask you this, since you brought up the essays, how do you feel about you know them in terms of their relationship with the blacks? Because you know, from as far as I know, they got in certain hoods. They hitting up in case as a nigger killer up in definitely. certain hoods. They banging on blacks and trying to Most run us definitely. out. They join up to try to run us. They don't really like us like that. I'm you know how has that impacted gang culture in L.A. or not just L.A. but on the West Coast and California in general? Well, it's crazy because I'm from San Diego, and even though all that deep out there. <laughs> My, our street code is a Southern Cali street code. See, every Southern California neighborhood that's a black or Mexican neighborhood in Southern California belongs to a Cholo gang or a Blood and Crip gang. There's no such thing as a black neighborhood in Southern California that's just not a gang neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Every neighborhood belongs to a Blood, Crip, or SA, or Asian gang, or even Samoan or Tongan gang. Right. And the code is not no this kind of, no. Crip, Blood, Cholo, gang so so I feel like in San Diego is crazy because we got every element that everybody else got but we don't really got the Mexican black funk we don't have that in San Diego everything's the same but we don't really have that in San Diego but I know that man it's it's, it's Bro, you asking some serious shit. <laughs> I know, I know, shit right I know. Now, bro. And I know. I'm talking about serious, 
Serious it's real, you know. Topic. And you know, I only ask this these questions to you, brother, because again, as you stated earlier, in the, uh, you know, you are a role model. What right. you say counts. You know what I'm saying? Like we were brothers listening. You know, people was listening. With and you know, what you say counts. Everybody chooses a square to stand on. You could either be for this or that. Right Some there. people try to tap dance around issues. You know what I'm saying? No, I go right to it. But I'm just. Right. I, I feel like. But no, I appreciate you because you answered all the questions. Right. You stepped to your square and you, you know, and that's what, you know, that's, again, it's all for the people. The people is listening, you know, and we, you know, we for the house of consciousness. But I got to wrap this up, though, family. My brother, Mitchy Slick, got a video shoot going on live. Yeah. He took time out of his day to holler at the West Coast House of Consciousness. Yeah. Shout out to my brother, Sarnetta. Shout out to my brother, Natural Tahuti. The West Coast House of Consciousness, Ross Set, Mac Hussein, my wildlife entertainment family. Real quick, tell the uh, people what you got coming out real quick what you got going on albums mixtapes anything coming out where to find your music at shout out to um, Empire Distribution through Empire Distribution this year just in the last 12 months alone I dropped a record with DJ Fresh called Feed Master Pain I dropped a record just strictly solo these are solo albums by Mitchie Slick called Won't Stop you can go to iTunes and grab that I just dropped a um, whole nine two of my artist um, Ocean that's oh so ocean go check my guy out homie I put him up against any any of the new cats on the west right now to say he's he's one of the leaders Talent wise of the West Coast right now. Also, Ocean. I got the whole crew up under my label. My label is Wrong Kind Records, but I got Young Kind Records. My young cats, and we dropping shit. We on tour right now. We got the Call of Duty tour. I just dropped the Call of Duty, Duty um, EP like about six six weeks ago, seven weeks ago, and we on the move. I'm flooding the market with music. Just go Google me. Just Mitchie Slick. M I T C H Y S L I C K. Just go Google me. Go to iTunes. Buy some shit, first of all, do that, then after that, come to the YouTube and look at the free shit. Go to live mixtapes, you can download all our mixtapes and all that shit. But don't be proud, don't be too proud to pay though, man, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, that. So that's yeah, what that. it is, homie. Check out Wrong Kind Records for uh, 14. We about to drop um, Trigger Rescue Station 2. And that's a surprise to my folks and fam, and I got cocaine laying something down there with the homegirl, Del Trees, featuring Daz right now. Stupid, produced by the homie Kai, you know what I'm saying? That's what we own, Wrong Kind Records. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah. If you want to buy any of the merchandise I got, this is all fly shit, all all expensive shit, man. You know what I'm saying? No cheap shit, man. Go to uh, wrongkinddepot.com and anything that you see me in the homies rocket, you can cop. And that's what I'm on, just making fly shit. Not just some shirt with my logo across it, but I really make fresh pieces. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm lightweight designer. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my baby Kanye shit. You know what I'm saying? So dope ass hoodies and shit. Crew necks. Good shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Fly shit. You know what I'm saying? Go cop. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Peace and black power, family. We out. Yeah, that.